So you're creating scrolling credits in DaVinci Resolve using the built-in scroll effect. But what happens if you want to add some logos? Turns out, Resolve doesn't let you add images directly to the scroll effect. Many of you asked me how to solve this, so I made a plugin. Let me show you exactly how it works and how you can integrate images seamlessly into your scrolling credits. So here we have a recreation of the final credits for the film Thunderbolts. Just after the names of the cast, there's a text acknowledging the participation of the Georgia Film Office. So in this example, we just have this empty space where we're going to put in the Georgia Film Office logo. So we have it right here and we are going to put it on top directly in the timeline and we're going to use the logo scroll effect so we're going to go to effects i have it here in favorites i'm going to drag and drop it directly on the image so the first thing i'm going to do is to reduce the size so i'm going to drag this make it a bit smaller i'm going to cut out this url so i'm gonna go to video just a regular cropping and crop out the bottom and there we go we can see that this logo is scrolling faster than the text so we're gonna go to our controls let's see what happens if we drop it down to 50. So now the logo is scrolling slower. Let's see what happens if we take it up to 70. Looks like it's scrolling faster. Let's go down to 65. It appears to be dragging just a little bit. Let's try 67. I think that's close enough. So now that we have the speed set, let's place it in the correct position just by dragging and moving directly in the timeline. And at this moment, the logo seems to suddenly appear within the frame. So all we have to do is take this control that says bottom and just drag it slightly out of frame so because we did that what well, now we have to reposition so let's just put it back here and let's see what happens the same thing happens at the end where it seems to get stuck at the top of the frame so all we have to do is drag it outside the top of the frame so here we have a combination of scrolling text and the logo. Let's say that this is the end of the, of the scrolling credits and I want to add a couple of more logos, this Ari logo, and let's add this Dolby logo. Let's apply our logo scroll effect. Let's put it there. Let's reduce the size. We already have the speed of the scrolling so we know it's 67 okay let's place it there i'm going to move it just a little bit to the left because i'm going to put also the dolby logo we don't see anything and that's because the dolby logo is in black whenever you get a, a situation like this just put in color generator effect which is native to davinci resolve just place it on top and then you can set it to to any color you want and uh, we're going to use just white for this reduce size and i want to place it next to the re logo so the speed is 67 and i'm going to make it a bit smaller uh, so i'm going to scoot it a little bit to the right so okay so let's see what happens and that looks pretty good they are appearing suddenly in frame and we know how to fix that just uh, scoot it slightly out of frame same with the dolby logo scoot it slightly out of frame and let's see what happens let's say we want to end with the with the thunderbolts title 
So let's make this uh, title a bit smaller, something like that. And we know the speed is 67. I want it to come a little bit later. And we're just going to scoot it outside of frame. I'm going to want the title to finish. 0.5 is the center of the frame. So let's see what happens. And it stops there. And how about we add, as they sometimes do, a nice fade, some about here. So it stops, holds, then fades. Let's say you've completed the scrolling credits and placed all the logos in the right place. Suddenly, the producer calls you and tells you the end credits have to be 10 seconds shorter. What do you do? So let's bring the text down and let's say it's right about there. So because we shortened the length of the scrolling text effect, it's now faster. So we have to find the new speed. How about 80? How about 90? It's scrolling a little bit faster. So let's bring it down to 85. And it's lagging a little bit behind. So how about 87? And 87 seems to be exactly the same speed. So let's bring these over to the left. And let's say just about there. So we know the new speed is 87. So 87. For this one, 87. For the size logo, 87. And the Thunderbolts logo, 87. So now... There it goes. I'm gonna bring the size logo a little bit to the left. And just about there, I want the Thunderbolts logo to appear. So we managed to bring down the timeline from about 51 seconds down to 40 seconds. Any last minute changes can be made quickly directly in the timeline. So where can you get this incredible plugin? Right here, right now. The link is down below. Download it. It's a DRFX file. Double click on it. Resolve will ask you if you want to install it. Say yes. Use it every day. It's completely free. If you can, please subscribe. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.